Today, I'm going to tell a story about a company that's near and dear to my heart, and it starts in my hometown, Pasadena, California. In 1967, a man named Joe Colum founded a series of grocery stores inspired by a trip in the Caribbean with the goal to sell exotic foods from all over the world that you didn't know you needed. His initial idea was to attract customers that were quote-unquote overeducated and underpaid, such as what he would like to call intellectual writers and musicians with great taste. Therefore, it's no surprise that 28% of the chain's current customers are college students. So if you haven't guessed it, this grocery store is... Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. So how does Trader Joe's make you secretly love their products? Let's begin by talking to a former employee. This is my friend Becca, and she's a psych major at Fordham University, and she works here. Hi, my name's Rebecca. I'm a previous Trader Joe's employee at the 72nd Street Broadway location in New York City, and it's um, the biggest Trader Joe's in Manhattan. Let's start with the basics. Trader Joe's is what you would call a classic everyday low pricing store. What that means is that prices never seem to change. So for our products, most of our items, they don't go, well, any of our items don't go on sale. The price that they're sold at is the deal that stays and um, it's the best deal that Trader Joe's, I guess, offers. So that's why things don't go on clearance. And with the food that, so with like a lot of the fresh product and the bread and things like that, um, we take them off the shelf two days before they go bad. And then um, the food that is taken off the shelf is donated. And this is also in addition to um, food that comes in that either looks damaged or um, in a pack of strawberries, if there's a few moldy strawberries, we'll take them out, we'll donate the rest. Because of this, the strategy is to make it difficult for consumers to compare prices, ultimately making them think that they are always getting the lowest price possible. Trader Joe's does not offer sales, coupons, loyalty programs, self-checkout, or even online ordering. So I asked myself, is there a purpose to this? Again, with the idea that Trader Joe's doesn't offer discounts, relates to their strategy of cutting ad costs. They only really have one major outlet to advertise, and that's through their Fearless Flyer, which features new products. Other than that, they know their consumers expect prices to be low. Trader Joe's is actually so consistent that they implement their strategy nationwide across all of their stores. So um, the main thing with Trader Joe's is that since they buy from the same um, seller for each product, they sell it for the same amount across each Trader Joe's store. So if, um, it doesn't really, it's not impacted by inflation. So for example, if you were to go to a Trader Joe's in Manhattan, which is super expensive, you'll still get the 99 cent pasta and they won't mark it up due to New York's um, expensive like real estate and expensive living lifestyle, as opposed to if you go to a Trader Joe's in Arkansas, I don't know, um, the pasta will still be 99 cents. What's also interesting about Trader Joe's is that not only are they an everyday low pricing business model, 80% of their products happen to be under their own private labels. I don't know really the specifics, but I know that they meet with the companies who they're trying to like buy the products from. And there are certain products where they know they'll only buy limited products of, and there's certain products where they'll keep buying until, um, until it sells out and they'll repurchase and then they'll buy and they'll repurchase. But things like, um, like limited holiday things, they buy with the intent of not renewing um, the purchase, so. Therefore, this creates somewhat of an illusion. Since most products are under a private label, there tends to be very little variety for one type of product, such as one offering of frozen hash browns. It relates to the substitution theory, where customers are less sensitive to price when there are less offerings. In this case, consumers feel like they are making the best decision because in fact there is only one frozen hash brown offering. Vice versa to this, if Trader Joe's went the opposite route and offered more product variety like many of their competitors, then that would make consumers more sensitive to price, also making decision making that much harder. 
Again, with the idea that many of Trader Joe's products are limited, which means they come and go often, it relates to the theory that consumers are less price sensitive when products are scarce because they don't know how long it will be in stores. Oftentimes, this inspires many to impulse shop, especially for items you didn't know you needed, which Trader Joe's masters so well. So each Trader Joe's store is equipped with their own art team. So they hire artists specifically just to create the art for that specific store. So if you walk into any Trader Joe's and you look at the art or even um, just like the product labels, they'll have um, different designs and most, mostly all of the artwork that's created is very specific to the store, whether it's the name of the town or if it's like a significant um, figure or a significant monument in the town. Like when I worked in the New York City location, it was very like taxis, Empire State Building, things like that. So it's, it's very um, personalized. Again, since Trader Joe's tries to make it a point that each store location is unique through their individual store art and personalized price tags, it's clear the ambiance is made to feel like a mom and pop setting. This perceptual bias is set to really emphasize to consumers that they can't really get their products anywhere else, thus tying back to the idea of limited availability. So to tie it all together, what makes Trader Joe's have such a fan base following for such a simple grocery chain? Not only does the brand bring back feelings of nostalgia and an overall simple way to shop, Trader Joe's pricing strategy makes it very easy to spend money. Ultimately, how much money you actually spend is totally up to you, but the brand's ability to offer consistent low prices with a small variety to choose from is what really makes choice that much easier. This is why the company has been and will continue to be widely successful.